So I think it's time to bring in the other two members of our coverage tonight. That is Tyler Feldman and Corey Mose. Tyler, this part of the show was your idea. You said, <laughs> I want you to tell us the round and a team. And, and we've been doing that. And you just said, uh, fourth round, fifth round, uh, Panthers, Lions, Packers, Cowboys, Bears Saints, Chiefs, uh, Westlake High School. I, I, you you I, named I, everybody. I, I'm, I'm covering all my bases. I'm uh, trying to be. Uh, not wrong. Okay. Yeah, as we welcome in my good friend Jeff Jones. Jeff, you were there. You got to tell me your instant reaction from this one. Tyler, honestly, it feels like we've watched the same mediocre movie with a not so happy ending over and over again. That movie script goes like this. How did you claim that exclusive interview right there? He was in the lobby of the hotel. I said, hey, I know that guy. That looks like DeMario on Overshot. I said, I want to see if he wants to chat a little bit. And of course, Demo obliged. What a great driving day from Austin here to New Orleans. Perfect weather. You drove with Corey. Who was in charge of the radio? I was, but I also oh. drove all eight hours because I love being behind the wheel. And speaking right. of being behind the wheel, that's the quarterback position. If you ask your athletes not to get money whipped, then you can't get cash slapped, especially by the same stack of bills. Now, it's fair to argue the PGA Tour has imprints of dead presidents on their cheek. By 2.47 p.m. Central Time, he was surrounded by his legal team. Once he started walking, questions started being fired off. Chris, anything to say? The Gunners are Keaton Crawford and Keelan Robinson. Now, if we play this video, you're going to see they don't get jammed off the line. They actually get right to their spots in the best position to down the ball at the one-yard line. And I'll do it while getting some highlights that you'll see in a future sportscast. So let's go ahead and start with a story about the woman who actually has the ball in her hand right now. That is UT junior guard Rory Harmon. We are just one sleep away from the 90th Sugar Bowl between Texas and Washington. Now, I'm not really sure how much sleep will actually happen tonight. It is New Year's Eve in New Orleans. There is a street called Bourbon Street here in the Big Easy. Talking trash to the defense or talking talk trash to y'all? Who's he talking trash to? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, they say that you talk trash, not just to Everybody the defense. Me? Well, you just gotta, I'm not going to reveal my sources. I can't reveal my sources. I'm a journalist, you know. The Texas players have told us all about the New Orleans food. What's here in front of us? Uh, right here is our traditional charbroiled oysters. The food, you know, uh, it's got its own identity, its own personality. When you make it with heart and, and passion, the flavors are amazing. You said love is the main ingredient? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love this. I yeah. can taste it. Taste the love. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm high-key loving these shoes. Like, I could rock, rock these tomorrow. Look at those, actually. What size are those? Uh, my size? Oh, not yeah, my yeah, size. Right. Not my size. I get my shoes, man. That's crazy. <laughs> you said you want to let this one sting for a little bit. Why? I feel like you should always feel all your emotions, uh, no matter what. I was going to ask you for your best Vic impersonation, but you've already provided that yeah. for us. So I don't even proof have to ask that. Proof is in the pudding. That. Proof is in the pudding. Yeah. And the proof is in Taylor Jones. Good luck this season. <laughs> Thank you. Did you guys remember that performance last week against the 49ers? Yuck. Nastier than the juice at the bottom of the trash bag. All week long, we've been talking about how would Texas slow down this Washington passing attack. To be honest, though, them boys are nice. What a way to end the season for G.J. Kinney and his Texas State Bobcats. In less than a year, the son of a Texas high school football coach traded San Antonio for San Marcos, brought in 53 transfers. That was second most in the country. Opened the season with an upset win over Baylor. It has now ended the season by leading the Cats to their first bowl win in their first bowl game in program history. Tell me about hand placement. How yep. important is that, especially when you're doing a, a single arm rush like we saw on this play? Right, so defensive line coaches, they tell you whenever you're getting that stab in there, you want to get it right there on the inside number. Now, before the break, I mentioned how cars were sexy to me, right? For example, the OG, Aston Martin. I mean, this mug's so sexy, Rick Ross made a song about it. Then, look at the color of this Corvette Stingray. And all these people, guess what? They're all looking at it like, yeah, that's sexy too, right? Of course, okay, so let's, what's next, what's next? Hmm. Wow. I don't know how this got here. Hey, but it fits the trend, right? Unlike Texas football's play in the second half, that hasn't been so sexy. One source telling me Washington quarterback Michael Penix actually had a players only meeting. If you remember earlier in the season, Quinn Ewers, Texas quarterback, also a captain for this game today, had a players only meeting, and we know how the Longhorns have fared since. They fared pretty well. I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of soccer. Okay. I just not my cup of tea. Can we get Kelton Olsen FC jersey? I got San Antonio FC. Yeah, San Antonio FC. San Antonio FC. FC you're gonna jersey. have two. Okay, you're gonna yeah. have two. I don't actually expect that jersey though, because 
it's an empty arena, so nobody's, nobody's bringing that jersey to you. Uh, <laughs> now, I figured I'm not the only one who believes UT deserves the top spot, so I asked Kelvin Banks his thoughts. Uh, that's, that's not up to us. I can't, I can't control that. Uh, all we can do is really just play hard. Boy, I know your mama told you not to lie to people. It's the day after the Super Bowl, so we have to talk about the big game, but we don't have a lot of time. So here is my lightning round of takeaways, and we're going through the whole game as quickly as possible. Now, Chris Stapleton, before the game, smooth as always. So was the Philly run game, at least in the first half. But where was that historic pass rush? We'll get to that in a moment. Right now, though, I want to pause and apologize to Rihanna. How did I forget she had so many hits and made them sound good? from midair. In the second half, still no Philly pass rush, but the Chiefs offense, well, they arrived and so did the rest. A very untimely holding penalty really turned this game upside down. Kansas City earned the big win and Tubi, I'll be honest, I never heard of you before last night, but your commercial had me ready to fight everyone near the remote, which I think was the goal. So you got a big win too. I'm not going to put any pressure on you, but I'm going to be in Austin for Thanksgiving. Okay. And you better take care of business like you did right here in Lubbock last year, okay? Classless, clueless, and calculated are three words that come to mind after hearing that. Now, I say classless because as the Big 12 commissioner, you're responsible to look after every team in the conference without playing favorites. Last time I checked, Texas is, yeah, still in the conference. So for your mark to blatantly show bias against UT is simply unprofessional and low-key childish. His comments were also clueless, considering what the conference is losing with OU and Texas jumping over to the SEC. This is Tuesday Night Hoops on KVU Plus and our KVU YouTube channel. Gotta let it fly. Here's Libby Lee at the buzzer. Yeah! 